Hi everyone, Cole here at Second Appreciation. I hope you've all had a wonderful start to your holiday. Will and I had a great Thanksgiving with our family. I haven't done a garden update in a few months, so this video is going to encompass all that we've accomplished in the month of November. We planted about 300 bulbs, seven roses, and finally got my willow tree in the ground after being in a pot for over a year. So, lots of things to show you. I also wanted to tell you our intentions for the month of December as far as our YouTube channel. I would really like to participate in Vlogmas, so I'm going to try and release 12 videos every Thursday and Saturday and possibly Tuesday. So that's the plan, guys. So stay tuned for all of the adventures and Christmas and past adventures. So. Alright, thanks for watching. So this is what our garden looked like on November 2nd. This is the last of one of my orange roses. And this is our Savannah Rose, which has the best smell. I've really enjoyed our impatience this year. And excited to see how they spread next year. The lantana is gone, but I will replant it. Thank you, God, for being so good. <laughs> to deadhead the marigolds. This bed's filled with mums and I waited all summer on them for them to bloom and then I didn't water them enough so they burned up. Here's my second little bird bath. I've already taken some things out of him and brought them to the store. But this is how it's looking. Some of my begonias are still blooming and I want you to look at my sedum in my little strawberry pot. I really enjoyed this all season long. So this is on the side of our building. We have a little fountain with some lawn ornaments that we found at Hobby Lobby. They were 90% off and we got them for $5. Kitty girl, are you watching TVs? So I just moved all that over. Some subflooring, some paneling. And right around the corner here. Is the blower and chainsaw? While we hit it from ourselves, I do not know. Back up out of here without crushing any of Christmas or break holes. Oh, Jesus. All right, I think I need both hands. It's calm on the eastern front. Nothing broke. Praise him. All right. So, this is our haul for this year. I don't know how much of this we're going to get planted tonight, but I can't believe it's not even six yet. So we've got some geraniums here. They're hardy. I don't really know much about them. Allium, I've been good, good, gaga over them since I saw the uh, Globe Master by Proven Winners, which I don't have, but that's okay. I have another variety to get familiar with them and it'll be all right. This little crocus, some irises, more irises, a hyacinth and another hyacinth, some tulips, two colors here, and then one that I picked up from Aldi's. We got some bulbs from Lidl that had this mixture in them, so that's really cute. Some daffodils of the same brand, they're extra large. Uh, Daffodil King, there's 65 in both of those. And then this, another Aldi's fine, just a mixture. 
But these right here will grow up to about three feet, I think is what I read. There's the information that I have on it. Anyway. Here we go. Taking back bills to wheel now. We find ourselves working in the dark a lot because when we get home it's around five or six-ish and then the sun's setting, so here Will is planting some pansies around two trees that frame the driveway. They're here along this bed. You really can't see in the dark. We did some daffodils, some irises, some more daffodils of a different variety, uh, some irises, some other bulbs that we don't know if they're going to come up or not, but some crocus and another, I like framed this with the same type of marigolds. And I mirrored it on this side, starting right around this area. We just mirrored it onto that point where my shadow meets that pine. We probably planted about 60 bulbs, and we're not through. We're cleaning up. We uh, found these today. We got them for $10 at Lowe's, so there's two of those. And here in the middle, we're going to be doing these miniature rose bushes along with some allium and tulips. So there's what that kind of looks like. And then up here, we're gonna have our little hedge. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're gonna call this bed yet, but it's got cypress, roses, and some other little bushes. All right, well, let's get let's get this party wrapped up. Alright, so we just cut the side out of this area where we're going to put some petite roses and allium. So yeah. So here we use the cardboard as a weed barrier. We did have to make room for our holes for the bulbs and plants. All right, so here's what we did yesterday. We potted these two guys, and we cleared out this bed. And we planted some of these little bushes, the little petite roses, the petite knockouts. And then, all through here, we did allium and a bulb mixture all around the perimeter in between the, the petites. And then in here, I've got some Everest Allium in the center of each of these points. Um, they grow to be about three feet tall, along with some tulips and something else. I can't remember what it was now, but I guess we'll find out come spring. Isn't that exciting? And then I really do love these guys. So they're another little rose tree type situation. We got two to flank whatever area. And then I love my little pumpkin bench. So I didn't get my fall wreath until late November, but here it is. I found it at Aldi's for $18. And I just added in some other elements like the leaves and the acorns. 
and the cotton I grew this summer. We had a really good time with the family on Thanksgiving. Will and I put together a charcuterie board and some brie bites with some uh, brie in phyllo cups with some pepper jelly on top. And I burnt some potato cakes. Sniff those and some geraniums. I clipped all the impatience through here and the begonias, the mums, the dahlias. Pulled a pepper plant earlier today. Lots of pots still to get in the ground, but it's looking fun. So I didn't record any of it, but I came down here to Mama's and we did some plantings as far as bulbs. So we did in between this rosemary and the midpoint, we did daffodils underneath this window. Then here at this point, we did an allium, tulip, allium, the center, and then we did another row of daffodils in there. And there's a red dogwood down there at the end with some mint and maybe we can try and cultivate herbs and stuff in the back since we've got the rosemary the mint she's got some lavender on the back porch that i'm thinking about plugging in somewhere here but maybe i just might wait till springtime and get her a larger pot potted lavender but yeah that's what we've done here's these bushes up here that are looking pretty awesome She's over here. And then I'm thinking I want to eventually get her another hydrangea to put here. So she'll have hydrangea, three roses, and then a hydrangea. So a cute little window. And then up here, I think I'm going to pop in another couple of daffodil, daffodil bulbs there. Because I'm sure the morning glory will come back next year. But that'll be in the summer. There we are. Mom always just out here helping me. It's cute. All right, so I had to stop and record myself because I'm doing something ridiculous at seven o'clock at night. Mind at home. It is so dark. But I've only been home like an hour. But I really wanted to try and get this in the ground. So let's try and not trip over anything. But. I've had this willow tree in a pot for a little over a year. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. So, I really wanted to try and get it in the ground before the ground started getting, you know, any colder. Ooh, it's leaking a little bit on Right here. This is what the variety is. Green weeping willow. Hey Cole. Hey bud. What you doing? Scalping some grass so we can dig a hole to plant a willow tree. I'm gonna plant a willow tree. <laughs> so it's the last day of November. We really need to get finished up in the yard. So and I'm also trying to get Christmas out this week. So. Lots of things. I figure I'll get a good bit of it done by Sunday. So, but I'm also adding this whole vlogging thing to my schedule. And I'm trying to do a sale at the store. So we'll see how much of it I get done. Mine and Will's vision for our social media this month was to do a uh, 12 days of Christmas. Kind of inspired by uh, Stephanie Jarvis's advent where she does 24-ish 
videos in December. So, content. We're making a home. <laughs> you know, it's weird. It's tonight. We went and watched a YouTube video of somebody. That we follow, you know, making a hole to plant a tree. So. But they had diggers. I would like to get a digger. Well, we have so little we, land. We could rent it out. Bless it. So here we are. Digging holes by hand. All right, so we've got our willow tree in place. So you want it about level at the base of the plant. So we're gonna add in all this dirt, some of that dirt, and then mulch it. I'm going to show the cats what we've been up to. Hopefully they don't run away. Go on a little box, you guys. This is your new willow tree you get to look at. You see it? November. 
They're saying bye to all the leaves. I'm gonna watch Daddy trip over all these hoses and loops. <laughs> oh, went around the fountain with Jessica. He's like, um, guys. Done. Yeah, are you done with it? I am too. Y'all want to go back inside now? Is Brever hurting you? He's kind of sitting on you, ain't he? Let's go inside. Thank you.